Kinetic has won a £1.5 million contract from the Royal Navy to trial the military effect of Banshee JET-80 Plus air vehicle off HMS Prince of Wales. This will take place later in 2022 as part of HMS Prince of Wales' first deployment off the east coast of the USA. Kinetic will provide its experimentation expertise in Banshee JET-80 Plus air vehicles to support the Royal Navy's future use of high-performance uncrewed aerial systems UAS, in carrier strike group operations. The experimental trials, which are closely associated with the Navy's Vampire Phase 1 program, will test Kinetic target systems Banshees in training and ISR scenarios focusing on specific flight profiles and the optical recognition of assets to enable friend or foe confirmation. Previously, October last year, the Royal Navy's latest supercarrier, HMS Prince of Wales, has launched the fixed-wing drones, called the Kinetic Banshee Jet 80+, from her vast flight deck to assess how they might be used to train personnel in defending against ever more capable fast jets and missiles. The flight test engineers and operators from Kinetic flew three of the air vehicles from the drone's launcher on the Hebrides range off the northwest coast of Scotland. After running out of fuel, the UAVs recovered to land via parachute. The Banshee flights represent the first step for the Royal Navy in exploring how crewless tech could be operated from the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers in the future. The jet-powered Banshee, which looks like a mini-fighter aircraft, has a wingspan of about 8 feet and is fitted with twin 45kg thrust gas turbine engines giving a total of 90kg of static thrust. It can soar to 25,000 feet, skim just above the waves, flies at speeds up to 400 knots, and can stay in the air for up to 45 minutes. The fixed-wing drone can carry a variety of payloads, including infrared tracking flares, anti-radar chaff dispensers, and radar augmenters. Banshee Jet 80 Plus drone is hard to detect on radar, giving it all the likeness of an incoming missile, making it a realistic adversary for the sailor to train in countering aerial threats. These drones could eventually be carried by Royal Navy warships and provide operational training to task groups wherever they might be in the world, allowing them to conduct air defense exercises on demand to test reactions and hone responses. The Navy is looking at using Kinetic Banshee Jet 80 Plus drones operating from HMS Prince of Wales as a replacement for the Hawk and training exercises. In addition to defense training, the Banshee drone will also be used to test future sensors, weaponry, and radio equipment. The recent tests of three Banshees looked at how the drone and associated support equipment, including the launcher, can be integrated within a busy ship and flight deck. It also looked at installing subsystems on board and procedures for moving and setting up the drone and kit on the flight deck which has been a hive of activity as the ship trains with F-35B Lightning jets. There is a real need for a low-cost drone such as the Banshee that can replicate a range of the threats in the skies and provide a testbed for future payloads, said Commander Rob Taylor, lead for Royal Navy Air Test and Evaluation. The key to this is that a warship can carry this drone with it on operations, launch it and use it to keep personnel razor sharp in countering threats from above. The ability to adapt the payload for differing tasks is also crucial to provide value for money and interoperability across the fleet.